Open sesame. All right, let's go see what the heck we got in store today at the McFarland Racing Shop. All right, guys, we made it. And Zach stayed, well, he's working late tonight. Yeah. <laughs> he's always working late. He's got a whole shop full of things that he's got to get ready for TX2K, it sounds like. So, yep. uh, so yeah, we are here to pick up Ripsaw. It's leaving. Are you going to miss it? I will miss it for sure. One thing about it, y'all <laughs> tested the holy crap out of this thing. So. Yeah, we've tested it and we fixed all the things that could really break on it. I mean, I redid the whole rear end, all new brake calipers in it put an ignition switch in it, new under body trays in it. Yeah, because when I, when I dropped it off, we broke it that day. Yeah, hopefully, you know, you don't repeat that. <laughs> It'll be better in the snow anyways. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to gentry and sons so guys as you've seen we got the rip saw so it is here in the garage clay just put this thing up probably i think it was a couple months ago i do feel like the right person came along and did buy it getting ready to go to utah there's been a lot of speculation on where it's going a lot of guesses but nobody that i've seen has guessed the right person yet but i'm gonna go ahead and reveal it to you right now so actually, I'm just gonna roll this clip. I think you guys are gonna agree with me. It's going to the right place. And I'm getting ready to introduce to you guys a pretty awesome YouTube channel. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. So there you go, guys. Mike Patey is buying the rip saw. Well, Mike Patey has bought the rip saw. So um, we picked this thing up a couple weeks ago. He was actually headed out to Dubai. I don't know if you guys seen the Red Bull airplane landing on top of that big old huge skyscraper in Dubai, but Mike Patey is one of the guys that helped make that happen. And uh, I think that was probably one of the coolest stunts that I've seen. Just knowing aviation, flying airplanes, Doing something like that takes so much skill, so much engineering, so much, I mean, it just takes a lot of, you gotta know what you're doing. So I like watching Mike on YouTube. He's uh, very, um, what would you say, very motivational. Um, somebody like me that wants to grow and build a successful business and be able to uh, buy a saw one day. Um, so he's somebody that I follow. He definitely motivates me and you know, same thing with Cletus. I love watching Cletus's channel just because I know how hard he works. I know, you know, what he puts into it. I've been there, been to many, many races and many, you know, spent many nights in the shop up there with them. Both of these channels, they work really hard and they just deserve the success that they're getting. Today is the day. We're getting ready to load this thing back up and we're going to Utah. We're gonna go see Mike. We're gonna shoot a cool video with him and we're gonna shoot a cool video driving across country with this awesome machine. So um, right now I've got to go down, pick up the truck, the trailer. We've got a load of boat on the front of it because we're going to try 
to pull off the ultimate trip. I've grossed a lot of money in trips before, put some pretty cool loads together, and it's uh, you know been pretty cool, but I think we're gonna break our record on this trip. <laughs> Keep it straight. I kind of like it right there. Is it even on both sides? You're a little bit diagonal. Can you do a flat spin going that way? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Golly dang, dude. I didn't realize how wide this thing was. Yeah, dude. It's about not legal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We are all ready to go. Ain't right, hooking good up here. Rip saws loaded up, ready to go. I'm excited. All right, let's get the heck out of here. State police officer. Get us out of a ticket later. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Man, that's awesome. This guy was so cool. That officer was so cool, man. No tickets today. He just wanted to check out the rip saw. I was like, all right. So we're dropping the Mac off. We're going to leave it here for a day or two. And uh, we're teaming up. We're going to finish this loadout. Everybody's like, there's no way you can get it there that fast. I said, trust me, I got a plan. You got a plan. <laughs> I got a plan. Nobody knows my plan yet, but you guys. Secret. This is a country tour too, buddy. I'm not going to tell anybody either until we get there. We left yesterday. The day before yesterday, about, what, 9 o'clock at night? Yep. Yeah, y'all went all the way to... Golden, uh, Colorado. Yep, Golden, Colorado. And it met me back here in Paducah, Kentucky. So, dude, that's getting some miles done. And that's with the Mac blowing. Uh, we got a hole in the dipstick now, and it was losing some oil. So, yeah, I get the boost leak fixed, and something else shows up. That's trucking. Yep, Mac's getting like eight hundred thousand miles on it now, so it's starting to show. Seven eight nine. You have a few problems, ain't it? Yeah, but I'll tell you what, that's a solid truck. Oh, yeah, that's a good that truck. That the motor in. Yeah. Because the rest of the truck's just so solid. Oh, if we got it, I'll end frame that truck if it needs it. Yeah, that truck's just so solid. That's a good old truck. Fresh out of truck driving school, Nick over there. Yep, backing her right in, baby. Belt. This is Nick's 
first week of training, and he's doing really good so far. Really good. Check on Brad's. Yeah, he's sound asleep. We got bullets flying in the truck, glass breaking. Dude, I mean, driving along left lane, yeah. 70 miles an hour, and the side glass in the top bump just explodes. It's crazy. It's, it's right after we went up, right as we went under that overpass. I think somebody threw something on that overpass. That's what I'm thinking. Somebody had to either throw something or. Jeez. Like, we're just, guys, we're literally just driving along, and we heard. Busted on his head. Here you go. There's the latch off of it. Dude, that's crazy. It was right as we went under that underpass, too. As soon as we cleared the other side, just boosh. That was right after we were beside that other Trump. US freight. And his tire blew. I mean, we were literally passing it, but his tire blew beside us. Yeah, we Not five it. miles further, and the window blows out of the other side of the truck. Let me ride with you no more. Like I might drive a few more hours in the morning uh, after my three hour. So we're running a 7-3 split. I really wanted to stop me at the truck wash and all that stuff, but I don't think we're going to have time for meeting Mike at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and just top the truck off. That way we ain't going to stop no more. Accused of being cartel. <laughs> yeah. What do you got uh, in the packed in that tank back there? Uh, brackets. Little flour. And brackets. Metal brackets. A little flour. Yeah. <laughs> Gold bond. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, good morning, guys. We're uh, finally making it to uh, Utah, <laughs> and I've got the worst two. It's hard to film with these guys because you never know what the heck they're going to say. I have to. Uh, be careful of my demonetization. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that guy. He just blowed him. There's the Tim Gentry right there. Tim, we need to get you a hat. It's got an on air light that you turn on when you're filming and turn off. <laughs> Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> we have one LED bulb. <laughs> I've got drive wise and I forgot to turn it on. I forgot this is a drive wise set. Uh, that what? So guys, we stopped this morning. We're having some issues with the truck. We're having an overcharging issue, which right now it ain't really doing too bad, but it's been maxing out at 18. 
and then we're having uh, we had a coolant leak which was just a loose clamp but we're 105 miles out yeah we're supposed to meet mike after 10 o'clock a.m and looks like we're going to be there at 10 53. depends on what these guys decide they're going to do on yeah. a sunday <laughs> we got a pretty cool load they might want to look at it that's what i'm worried about and i've got that front boat sticking off pretty far I've got it maxed out. I mean, it's ever bit over more than three foot. So, well, I've got a blanket permit for most of these states. Yeah. Um, like the oversized, like the Amish buildings and things, they just get, they don't get a permit for each load, they just get a permit for a year. Yeah, yeah I just get a yearly permit that way because we're all the time over in the back a little bit, over in the front a little bit, width wise, or length wise. They used to allow you three foot and not really complain or say anything, but now they're they're kind of sticklers. Like they shut us down here over a boat on the front being too far forward. Literally what? shut us down and made us unload it here in the parking lot. I don't even understand why that matters. And wouldn't let us get an over um, oversized permit because of its two different vehicles on the trailer. So if they did that here today, I would just unload Ripsaw, come back through, and I'd drive Ripsaw. You'd have to drive it down the road there until I got out of the scale. <laughs> I'll, I'll drive it. They're really weird here. Um, I'm just hoping and praying we don't get an inspection this morning. I ain't got time for that crap. All right, looks like they're going to release us. I'll give them a little black smoke.
because <laughs> we get things done, boys. No matter what it takes, you got to cram four drivers in one truck. <laughs> and Brax, Brax ain't been driving, only on the dirt roads. He only back in the back end of parked in truck stop. Yeah, that's all he does. real quick yeah. pretty sure we just lost the alternator regulator as we got the battery or the alternator unhooked for now which voltage is we're thinking maybe we got bad batteries fine then so not real sure it sucks man 59 miles to go but I believe we'll be okay once it gets too low, we can stop and hook it back up. Surely, Brad, right we get there, though. This better slow down a little bit. For some reason, they've got I-80 closed at the bottom of the hill. How convenient. Very convenient. Nick, there's a dead elk over here on the shoulder. Yep, there's a, look right there, there's a. There's another one. Yeah. That has been there for a while. Oh no, that has been, somebody has defeated that one, buddy. Took oh, the back straps. Yeah. Oh, Holy moly, guys, we have made it to Utah. <laughs> uh, battery level still uh, holding. And probably it really hasn't moved. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking it needs an alternator. I can imagine waking up every morning and seeing these mountains like this. I bet it is awesome. I can imagine waking up every morning and seeing my neighbor's house 10 feet from Yeah, the houses are pretty close to each other. All right, guys, well, we found the problem. It's definitely an alternator issue because there's smoke coming out of it. Right out the regulator, too. Man, that sucks. At least it's not hard to change. No, it's it easy. It could be way back in there. Yeah, it's an easy change. We just got to find one. But we did make it, though. We made the trip. We got here <coughs> nice, safe, and sound. And uh, we're just waiting on Mike to show up. And um, oh, it sucks. But it is what it is. Hey, right, guys. So everybody's been dying to know where this <laughs> thing's going. And. Uh, <laughs> Utah, back to you Utah. made it. Dude, everybody's guessed. Like, there's been 10,000 guesses. Yeah. And I think I've seen two two of your guesses. Two have said Mike Patey's getting yep. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw a couple of those. Whoever yeah. guessed Mike Patey is taking it. We're right, and it, we're going to go play with it. It is here. I haven't played with it or driven it long enough. I drove it in Florida. It's unreal with Cletus, but... I haven't taken it out myself to see if there's any mods I'd want to do to it. But I don't know if I can leave it alone. We'll see. Oh, I'm sure for, it's good. For right now, <laughs> we're going to play with it as is and see how we like it. Throw it head-to-head -head against maybe my six-wheel drive Jeep. And maybe do some head-to-head -head comparisons against six-wheel steering, six-wheel drive on portal Unimog axles Jeep that Mark and I built years ago. Go play with it between the two of them. 
I'm sure they're definitely going to be very different in very different kinds of terrain, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited to see just what you do with it. I mean, <laughs> who knows? After seeing the plaid's video, I'm like, oh, this thing's going to be crazy when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, I told him that the ramps were stuck, so he had to unload it without them. <laughs> All right. Let's just drop it off. But when, uh, so when I picked it up or took it to Garrett the first time, he just. I was getting ready to unhook the trailer and put the ramps down. He's like, what are you doing? comes off the trailer. Like it was nothing. Ha <laughs> dude. I can't wait to go play with it. Congratulations, man. Thank you, buddy. It's like that trailer was made for you had like a quarter inch of clearance when it came off. There it is, guys. It made it one piece. So excited to uh, see it back in Utah in the snow, and it's, I think it's back where it needs to be. So where's the first jump? Oh, there's a river back there. I forgot about that. Hey, I got 20 bucks. You can't clear the creek. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this thing would probably walk over the creek. Yeah, I'd go through that. It's, oh, yeah, it's yeah. only two feet deep. No, I want to see clear it, not go through it. <laughs> Duke's a hazard style. Yeah, I think we'd take about 100 to clear that. There's a good ramp up right there. Yeah. Pretty good ramp. You definitely need a Dixie horn if you're going to try it, though. Yeah, for sure. It's a long color. It is. Yeah, we need a flag on top and the Dixie horn. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> you're going to have to go to Mike's channel to kind of see where it goes from here. We made the delivery. Yeah. And, uh, if you've never seen my channel, Mike Patey, P-A-T-E-Y, I usually build wild flying machines, full-size aircraft, one of a kind, like airplanes with solar wings carrying motorcycles. I think I have some plans for this, but we're going to play with it first. We'll go from there, but not check out my crazy aircraft stuff. We're going to do some combo stuff with Cletus, this great man right here. Hope you guys follow him, follow Cletus, maybe follow me, Mike Patey. We'll see you soon. Back to work. Let's go. <laughs> Belt off. Yeah, I mean, so I got looking at it. We got our drive gear, yep, right? Turns the water pump, so alternator and air conditioner. So there's literally nothing on it except the alternator that we have to have, which is the problem. So yep. get that off, and it'll keep it from seizing up, catching on fire, catching on fire, burning a two hundred fifty thousand dollar boat up, burning up my truck that we could have just sold. 
I mean. But we didn't because we like Steve. I'm flexible. I just want a cool truck. I just want a big hood cool truck. Yeah. That I can make some content for my new YouTube channel. We definitely gonna be keeping this girl. So anyways, guys, I think we made a really good contact here. It's gonna for our business. So this may have just turned into a really good contact for us from what it sounded like. Yeah. Um, we just made a, a new customer, pretty full-time customer. So um, really like Mike and his brother. Um, super smart guy. Oh my gosh. Talking to him. They He's are just a genius. Yes, super smart. They've been really successful. That's why I follow their YouTube channel because they're really motivating and they've literally taken nothing and turned it into something amazing. So if you guys want to be motivated, watch a good channel with some smart people, definitely go um, follow, Mike, follow Mike Patey's YouTube channel and we'll definitely be doing some more stuff with them in the future. But guys, that's going to finish off today's video. You're going to have to tune back in on the next one to see what we do about the alternator and see who the next YouTuber is customer is and we're headed there now so i'll see you guys later love y'all and see you on the next